when we're thinking about insurance, what are the steps that need to be taken? Oh boy. <laughs> um, you know, there's a simplistic approach and there's a complex approach. Okay, to... let's, uh, okay. let's go with the both. Yeah, which one do you want? Let's do the simple one for now. Okay, simple one is if I'm measuring how much I need to be insured for, yep. I, I do a human capital calculation and basically it, it discounts my income backwards to a value today. Yep. The way I could put it is, you know... If somebody was to pay me mm -hmm. a great big lump sum of money yep. and say, like, here's X amount of money in, will you work for the next 30 years doing this job if I give you X amount of money yep. and I can give it to you today or I can pay you monthly for it? Yeah. Um, we have to come up with a dollar value of what that's going to be. Yeah. And so somebody making, you know, like, uh, 75,000 bucks a year, let's say, 75, yeah. 80,000 bucks a year, their lifetime income over those years, it, it might be worth like, you know, $2 million yeah. or something like that. And if they were to discount it, in, it back into today's dollars, that if I took a lump sum of money and invested it and drew an income from it yeah. over the next 20 or 30 years, what would that lump sum have to be? Well, it might be instead of, two million it might be one and a half million yep. because if i take that one and a half million i invest it you know in a conservative portfolio and then take an income yep. from that you know what i mean yeah so that's the today value the discounted yep. value and that's the simplistic approach okay is figure out okay my, my, my income's eighty thousand dollars and it might be going up with three percent inflation yep. we factor that it's, in. it's, it's funny because we say this is the simple approach but this is okay. sounding pretty complex okay. right now yeah. <laughs> But honestly, it's it, it sounds complicated, but yep. we just basically have to put it through a financial calculator yep. and find out what the present value is of a future income flow. Yep. That's that to me is a simple approach. The complex approach, yeah. And I don't know. I kind of like the simple approach, but the complex <laughs> approach is okay. Hey, listen, what are the things that we need to happen when we die? Yep. Okay. Well, I want to make sure that the bills are paid. Yep. All debts are canceled. Yep. Okay, the mortgage is paid off. Yep. Credit card debt is erased. Lines of credit are paid off. Yep. My funeral expenses are covered. Yep. And we've got an amount of money set aside for the kid's education. Yep. So they're going to have the education that they need to move forward in yep. life. Um, uh, it, other than that, that's about it. Yep. So we figure out what those amounts are. And of course, in today's world here in Vancouver, <laughs> our mortgages are looking, instead of in the couple of hundreds of thousands, is yep. looking half a million to a million in a mortgage, yep. right? So we add up those bills and we could come up with a half a million to a million of expenses that need to be extinguished right away. Yep. So we take that and then we figure out, okay, once the family's set up and um, the mortgage is paid and all the debts are paid, yep. What percentage of my income do they need in order to get by? Yeah. And then we might figure on, and that's, that's hard to figure out. Yeah. But it might be like 60 or 70%. <laughs> Again, that's... as with every, every episode of our <laughs> podcast, it's, it depends on your situation. It depends on your situation. And that to me is a complex approach. Yeah. I like the human capital approach yeah. where we simply measure the today value of your future income. And for goodness sake, just insure it because that's what you're worth. Yeah. Okay.